Okay, I'm going to do a little tutorial about how to make a ball that's rigged for squash and stretch. So first off, you go and create a sphere. And I'm going to create this one at 8 axis divisions and 8 height divisions. And then I'm going to frame up on it, type in the F key. And then I'm going to create the performer. This is a, a deformer that's set to 2, 2, 2, and the S divisions, T divisions, and U divisions. Then I'm going to, uh, I have a little tool here for selecting lattice points. And I'm going to select those. And then I'm going to do a create deformer. I have another little tool here for that. And so now I need to make a uh, controller curve. And then I'm going to go and freeze these. Okay, they're frozen. They're uh, one down and one up. So this is actually two, or if you look at the side view, let's see, it's two Maya units tall. And then I'm going to create a measurement tool, distance. Hold down V, snap to here, snap to there, enter to complete the tool. So it's a two unit tall thing. And I'm going to name these. This is going to be TP L LLC, just so I know what it is. BT LLC. Then I need to select that cluster, and this is going to be called BT Cluster Handle, and this one's going to be called TP Cluster Handle. Get rid of that one. Okay, good. So now I have them all set up. I'm going to go look at my outliner. And I can uh, this uh, I can either do a oh, I didn't name the curves okay this is gonna be my TP CN TRL and this will be my BT CN TRL okay so now I can use I can either do it like this I can take these drag them into there drop them. Remember to turn off this. Uh, I left it on from before. I drop the, I can either drop them in like that, or <coughs> or I can uh, let's see a top, or I can do uh, something like uh, constrain point and orient, and then let's constrain point and orient. So the advantage to doing a point constraint or a disadvantage depending on how you see it. See, it, they work pretty much the same way. The disadvantage is that you might be able to select this and move it off and mess things up. Or you might select the, uh, you know, this thing. But this is going to always move with that. So there's uh, some little problems that might, might, might happen, but it's pretty minimal. So then I'm going to take this, 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 and the, where's my other cluster handle? There, and I'm going to create a new uh, group, create layer from selected, and this is going to be the uh, former layer. Oh. All the former layer, and then I'll take this one and this one and create a layer, and I'll call it. Let's see, this is going to be called oh, C N T R L layer. Save. 
So I'll turn off the deformer layer so I don't have to see it. And uh, I'll add this in there too. So uh, now I have this, and this doesn't, the curves don't render. And I can see this little number here. See that little number. So I can zero these out now and be pretty safe. That is set to two. Okay, now I know my default. Now I got to go into my uh, uh, animation editor's expression editor, so I can automatically set up a squash and stretch. So I want to automatically do that, and uh, you do that by putting uh, onto this cluster, one of these cluster handles. In particular, I want to take the cluster handle. Okay, I'm going to go E X B one. I want to take the, the scale X dot scale X, and I want to make it equal the dimension, the output of the dimension shape. So let me uh, select this. You can see it's this. It's uh, when I select it, I can see the what, what I'm selected is called dimension handle one, and it's actually this value here. So I'll, I'll select it here, and then I'll, I need to go and see the shape node. So I can see the shape node here. I'll select it and see it's this. It's displayed here in the uh, script editor, and then I actually need the uh, output of the distance attribute. So I can look at the attribute here, open that up, slide this over, and you can see right here, it's this call, this is the way it's uh, called. So I can paste that in there. Now if I go on the, over here, maybe, so it's a little bit more visible, and then uh, I'll copy that just to be sure in case I mess up. Okay, there. So it did a scale on the top, right? So it scaled out the top. And the problem is that now when this moves up, the top equals a 2. So it gets this weird teardrop or inverted teardrop. So I actually have to divide this to make it equal 1, 2, dash, edit. Now it's 1. And then, so this is just basically the formula. You take it, once you, uh, uh, figure out how to do this. It's really easy. E EXPR2 here. Hustle, cluster handle. Z. Great. It's really a no brainer. Now, when I pull this up, it stretches top. I have to do the same for the bottom, and it's the same naming convention. So I'll take this one, copy, and then new expression EXP3. Paste that, and the only th difference is the name here, so it's BT. Create and new expression EXP4, and this is Z. Create. So then I can close, and there it is squash and stretch ball. And then uh, I forgot to do uh, I'll do a dupe on this and take it up by uh, I forgot to do the uh, one little thing over here. Uh, I'll scale this by two to make it exactly like the ball we did before. I'll freeze the transforms. I'll turn off the shapes and attributes here so we can see it a little clearer. And this and this I'll drag and put it inside this one. So this is going to rename it to main control. And then on this uh, there was a let's see, there was another expression for the object. I'm going to rename this to ball geo. And then I'm going to do a um, I'll do a smooth on it. We'll go look and see what the command is. Only smooth face. So I'm going to take this 
and I'm going to add uh, an attribute to it. It's going to be called smooth. Add. Okay. Close rather. And so we'll go over here and we see this. We have the smooth now. And uh, then I'll go back into the attribute editor or the uh, expression and then I'll add one more exp5 and I'm gonna add copy and paste something over there uh, main control it's actually main cn trl smooth create close so it takes the poly smooth face one division so it's, and it sets a smooth to it off this so I can dial in a uh, 2 and it'll smooth it. Of course this isn't the ideal smooth. Okay, I have to turn off my uh, hard edges and then it'll keep a nice uh, rounded egg shape for me. Okay, that's it.